Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So find the area bounded by the curve x squared plus 4y minus 8 equals 0 and the line x equals 2y. So from the equation of the curve, we have this x squared plus 4y. Since this one is y, so we're going to solve first the y intercept so to solve for the y intercept we let x equals to 0 and from the equation of the curve so we have this 0 squared because x is equal to 0 then plus 4y minus 8 equals 0 then to solve for y so we have this 4y equals transpose this negative 8 that becomes positive then divide both sides by 4 to solve for y so y is equal to positive 2 then plot this one in a graph so this one is y this one is x since x equals 0 and y equals 2 so positive 1 positive 2 so this point is 0 and positive 2. Then solve for the intersection. And to solve for the intersection, we need to combine the two equations. So from the equation of the curve, x squared plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. And the equation of the line, x equals 2y. So to find the solution, we're going to use the substitution method. Since x is equal to 2y, so substitute this 2y to x. So this equation becomes 2y then squared plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. Then simplify, so 2y squared, this one is 4y squared, plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. Then since we can reduce this equation, so divisible by 4, so this 4y squared divided by 4, this one is y squared, plus divide by 4, this one is y, minus divide by 4, this one is 2, then equals 0. Then to find the values of y, since this one is a trinomial, so we're going to use the quadratic factoring. So the factors of y squared, that's y times y. And the factors of negative 2, that's 2 times 1. Since this one is negative, so one of this number is negative and one is positive. But since the middle term is positive, so therefore the bigger number is positive. So this one is positive and this one is negative. Then to solve for y, equate the factors to 0. So therefore y is equal to negative 2. Then the other one, y minus 1 equals 0. So y is equal to positive 1. Then to solve for x. So solve for x. So at y equals negative 2. So we're going to use this equation because we can easily solve for x using this equation. So x equals 2 times y and y is negative 2 so therefore x is equal to negative 4 so the coordinate that's negative 4 for x and negative 2 for y then the other one at y equals 1 so the same equation so x equals 2 times y and y is equal to 1 so x is equal to positive 2. So the coordinate, positive 2 for x and 1 for y. 
So, these are the points of intersection. So, in a graph, so we have this negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Then the other one, negative 2 for y, so negative 1, negative 2. So, this point is negative 4 and negative 2. Then the other point is positive 2 and 1. So, positive 1, positive 2. This one is positive 1. So, this point is positive 2 and 1. So, therefore, this is the graph now of the curve. And this is the graph of the line. And these are the points of intersection. Now to solve for the area, if the curve moving downward or upward, so we're going to use the y-axis in solving for the area. Since the curve moving downward, so we're going to use the y-axis to solve for the area. And the formula, so we have this, the integral of the lower limit and the upper limit, then we have the upper y minus the lower y dx. So this is the formula in solving for the area. So on the graph, this is the upper y and this one is the lower y. So to solve for the equation of the upper y, so we have this upper y, since on the graph the upper y is the curve, so we're going to use the equation of the curve, that's x squared plus 4y minus 8, so we have this x squared plus 4y minus 8 equals 0, then solve for y, so we have now 4y equals, so transpose this x squared becomes negative x squared. Transpose this negative 8, that becomes positive 8. Then to solve for y, divide by 4, every term. So y now is equal to negative 1 fourth x squared plus 8 divided by 4, that's 2. So this is now the equation of the upper y. Then to solve for the equation of the lower y, since the lower y is the equation of the line, so from the equation of the line x equals 2y, and to solve for y, so just divide both sides by 2, so y is equal to 1 half x, so this one is the equation of the lower y. Then substitute now the values to solve for the area. So formula, the integral of the lower limit and the upper limit. Then we have this, the upper y minus the lower y, then the dx. So we have now the upper y, that's negative negative. 1 fourth x squared plus 2 minus the lower y that's 1 half x times the dx since the variable is x so we're going to use the values of x for the upper limit and the lower limit so the lower limit is negative 4 and the upper limit is positive 2 so again, the lower limit is negative 4 and the upper limit is positive 2. Then solve for the integral. So integrate every term. Uh, for the first term, we need to put this constant outside. So negative 1 fourth, then integral of x squared dx. Plus, for the second term, so Put the constant outside, so 2 times the integral of dx 
and for the third term so negative one half times the integral of x dx then simplify so we have now negative one-fourth times the integral of x squared dx so plus one for the exponent that x to the power 3 then over 3 then plus 2 integral of dx this one is x then minus 1 half so plus 1 for the exponent this one is 1 so plus 1 so that's x squared over 2 then the lower limit that's negative 4 and the upper limit is positive 2 then simplify so we have now negative x to the power 3 over 4 times 3 this one is 12 plus 2x then minus x to the power 2 over 2 times 2 this one is 4 then from negative 4 to positive 2 so substitute now the values of x so from negative x to the power 3 over 12 plus 2x then minus x squared over 4 then the lower limit is negative 4 and the upper limit is positive 2 so substitute first this upper limit so x is equal to 2 so we have now negative 2 to the power 3 because x is equal to 2 over 12 plus 2 times 2 then minus 2 squared over 4 then minus so x now is the lower limit so we have minus that's negative 4 over 3 because x is equal to negative 4 over 12 plus 2 times negative 4 then minus negative 4 squared over 4 then simplify so this 2 to the power 3 that's 8 over 12 plus 2 times 2 this one is 4 then minus 2 squared that's 4 then over 4 then minus so we have negative negative 4 to the power 3 that's negative 64 then over 12 then this 2 times negative 4 that's negative 8 then minus negative 4 to the power 2 that's positive 16 then over 4 then simplify so we have 8 divided by 12 so this one is divisible by 4 so 8 divided by 4 that's 2 and 12 divided by 4 this one is 3 then plus 4 minus 4 divided by 4 that's 1 then minus so negative and negative that's positive and this 64 divided by 12 divisible by 4 so 64 divided by 4 that's 16 and 12 divided by 4 this one is 3 then minus 8 then minus 16 divided by 4 this one is 4 then we have negative 2 over 3 positive 4 minus 1 this one is positive 3 then minus so that's 16 over 3 so negative 8 and negative 4 that's negative 12 then simplify so we can use cross multiplication for these two equations so let's start with the first group so this one is over 1 so we're going to use the cross multiplication so negative 2 times 1 this one is negative 2 then 3 times 3 that's positive 9 over 3 times 1 that's 3 then minus for the second group 
So this one is over 1. So 16 times 1, that's 16. Then 3 times negative 12, that's negative 36. Then over 3 times 1, that's 3. Then reduce. So this one is 7 over 3 because negative 2 plus 9, that's positive 7. Then minus. So 16 minus 36, this one is negative 20 over 3. Then simplify, so we have 7 over 3, then negative and negative, that's positive, 20 over 3, which is equal to 7 plus 20, that's 27 over 3, and 27 divided by 3, so 9 is the final answer.